Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you didn't know, now you know. And you see what we have. It is Savvy Land. We do a lot of Savvy Land stuff here. You guys know, Savvy Land is getting to be one of the, like, the bigs, the major players. Like, they do all the things. They've got, like, soft gel tips. They've got acrylic. They have dip powder. They have gel. They have poly gel. They have builder gel. They, they've just got everything. But they did send this box over to us. I'm sure you already know what's in it by the title. Here's the back of the box with any information that you may want to know. It's got the instructions, how to use this product, and their contacts and socials. And did you know that they are vegan and cruelty free? Advanced formula, slight odor, and non-toxicity. In my opinion, gel stinks, but some is worse than others. So let's see what we got in here. So we have uh, this 603,000 buffing block. Like, this side is smooth, smooth, and this one's just slightly less smooth. This will polish your nails to a super shine, but you don't want to do this where you're about to bond it, because that will make it not bond. But then there's this one, the 100, 180. It's a good file. And then we have these things. So you guys actually have seen this particular type of drill before. There was one in the acrylic kit that I was testing out a while back. But basically, this is what it looks like. It doesn't have a locking mechanism. You just shove the bit in there and it stays. Um, I might put this in a giveaway because I do already have one, plus I have numerous you know, other types of drills and things like that. And It's still a good drill. I did use it in the video that I had previously made. And it does file off nails. I don't need to file off any today because I've already done it. But if I should need to remove the set I'm going to put on, this would be a way to do it. Not every soft gel kit is gonna give you a drill. We also have the lamp. This one is that little same shape lamp that you get in a lot of these little kits. This one's branded and it has the button. Let's open it up. So as you can see, it does have the three little LED lights, the clicky clicky, and of course, a charger. Looks like it is not USB-C, it's micro USB. I don't know why I thought it would be USB-C. Gonna have to get a box out for this though. And then they give us some nail glue gel. It looks like this, good size bottle, 15 milliliters. There's some tips letting you know you do need to cure this with an UV or LED lamp. There's a barcode. It does not say the cure time on the bottle, but maybe the instructions do. Also, how handy, they've given us this giant fingernail clipper. Sometimes you need to cut your nails down or even your toes. It did give us some instructions here with how to prep the nail, how to get the soft gel tip ready and applied. It does say 60 seconds cure time. And then there's a little demonstration of how to go in and polish it and then how to remove it after. Very informative. And then here's the tips. This is how they come. They're not in a box. They are in little individual Ziploc bags, which is fine. Save money on packaging. So it looks like we have a size 11 and a zero. So zero through 11, which is technically 12 sizes. Let's pick some out for me. All right, so this is their zero. Let's have a look at it. That's the free edge. It's got a nice curve. And the back, okay, okay. Yeah, let's look at that. It does have a nice arch, I like that. Should be able to get plenty of product up under there. Now let's see how big it is. I don't have the biggest nails, but I also don't have the smallest. I often usually have to go for one of the largest available. It looks like actually this guy is a little bit too big. So if you do have a little bit wider of a nail bed, this might be a good kit for you. It is strong on the free edge, but not so strong that it won't bend. And then it is thinner and more flexible down here at this end, so it gives you a more seamless look for your cuticle. Let's try a size one. So if I push that all the way back, it does fit sidewall to sidewall. So I think this is actually a really good size for me. And you can see I have pretty strong C-curve nails, so there's not a whole lot of space in here, but there is enough space to get the adhesive in there. All right, so we've got us a four as well. We're gonna go for the middle nail with this one. So that fits pretty well, sidewall to sidewall. 
And then we have a five we're gonna do for the next finger. That one is like skinnier than the middle one. So that one fits pretty well. And then we've got a six for my index, which is pretty much what it always is. So no surprise there. And then for the pinky, we're gonna go for a nine. So there are some that are still smaller. All right, so this glue can be used as the base coat as well, and so I'm going to. And we're gonna put them on with just this. I'm not gonna dehydrate, I'm not gonna prime. If you need it to last longer, I would recommend that you do so, but I want to see how well it's gonna stick without that. Like my nails are pretty buffed up and dry, so that shouldn't be an issue, but we're gonna find out. We've got our light ready, just goes under there like that, but I think it's wiser to do it sideways. So that way, like when you're going in, you can go in like this. It's hard to do it like that, that just bangs into it. So this would be my recommendation. I'm gonna sit it right here. You can kinda see what I'm doing. There we go, we'll leave our little label there. Now, we're gonna also have to cure in here. So we'll do that. Let's look at this consistency. Oh yeah, that's thick. That's going to be a good one. Like, it's not a solid, but it doesn't just fall off either. Hmm. That might be pretty sticky. Yeah, I am going to go through here and do each one of these because I'm going to have to wait a minute between them since I don't have the big lamp in here. And this thing will count itself down the 60 seconds, so that's how you'll know when it's been time. But I'm going to do it in speed mode. All right, so we've got those on there. I'm not going to touch it because I don't want to get them full of dust, but boy, that's shiny. Let's put on some of these tips. Of course, we'll start over here. We're not silly. So I've got this. This one's a tiny one. We don't need a whole lot in here. And there's a lot that comes on this brush, so you probably want to wipe a bunch of it off. And then I like to just kind of go like this and get it all on here. And then if you have gaps, you can leave some space um, and pour extra in here, but if you don't, you probably don't need a lot. I don't usually have much space, so I try not to put too much in there. But let's put it on. So we'll start at an angle like this, like this. Let me zoom this out. We'll start at an angle like this so we can push it back and then we'll roll it forward until it comes up to the edge and that's where we'll want to hold it and stick it under here. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. And then I'm gonna pull it back out and wipe these edges off for any spillage before we finish curing. And I'm gonna turn that back off and then back on so we get a full 60 seconds. Okay, so we've got this one on. Look, you can see the color moving as I wiggle it. It's actually on the print guide. Let's do the next one. And we're gonna follow the same tactic. Get it all on there. Don't leave too much behind, for me, anyway. And I guess I'll just push this button now. And we'll start with the same angle and roll it forward. You can see the gel move across so you'll know where it's at. If it doesn't cover it completely, that means you don't have enough. But let's stick it in there. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. And then pull it out, give the sides a little wipey wipe, and then back in for the long one. All right, so we've got that on. This one's got a little bit of spillage over here. So what I do is just take the file and kind of get that off. And then I'm gonna go in and do these other ones real quick since I've already demonstrated the process. I've always been a fan of the shape of the Savvy Land tips. They're already pre-shaped, so you really don't have to do much, but I really like their apex and their C-curve. They're really good for my type of nail bed, so let me throw these other ones on. They're looking good, what do you think? Let me tell you about the big stupid that I did. Y'all didn't even say nothing. This one, was supposed to be over here. So now I've got this gap. That was dumb. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this hair file and crispen up our edges because we've got these little tabs on them. 
which it doesn't take much to get these off so like be easy with it see like it's gone you don't want to overdo it and then get your nail all misshapen yeah just get it flat on the end this is a really weird way for me to hold my hand I would not normally be doing it in such a odd way if I were not filming don't hold your hand crazy ways if you don't have to there we go so now those ends look good and then you can either use your e-file and go around the edges or if you're careful enough you can use a file file I don't want to have to get that out and then have it used and all that so I'm gonna carefully try and go around it actually I might even use a buffing block just to kind of rough or well clean up any bits of junk that may be right there let's do it with this actually because I don't want to tear up my cuticles and I'm notorious for it this one's got enough grit that it should do something yeah you can tell that it does try and blend this bit in a little bit that I might have to do with the file make it a little bit more seamless all right nice and dusty and then from here you can go in and do your decorating these nails are on Let's check their sturdiness. They are real sturdy, like I'm doing this hard. It is not budging. If they end up popping off, I'll probably leave some sort of post on one of the socials or all of them, so just be on the lookout for that, but I'm not really feeling like they're going to with how sturdily they are on here. Now these are pretty shiny, so I would recommend like buffing them before you start painting. That way it has a good sturdy grip but I like these they are a great shape they are cute and they are strong and I really like that glue not all nail glues are fantastic but this one is so thank you again Savvy Land for sending this over I will definitely be using these and thank you guys for watching thank you for being subscribed and here for my content and your comments you know I love hearing from you and thank you for leaving me a like it helps the algorithm which helps me it helps my channel grow and it helps me make these videos which I enjoy doing so that is that check the description for the link for this kit get it for yourself it has everything you really need especially for beginners so I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.